Welcome back. Welcome back to the biggest agricultural platform in Namibia known as Duna Wengombe, which means Headman of Cattle. My name, of course, is Mitchell Mutumba Simata, a.k.a. The Headman of Cattle, and I'll be taking you through this journey, this agricultural journey. Today, somebody came through the comment section of a previous video that I did, and he said, Mitch, could you do a video on uh, Braford Cattle? And uh, if you could do a video on Braford Cattle, I'd appreciate that. And I said it's a good idea, so I felt I should honor his wishes and actually do this video. So, Braford Cattle. That's how they look. That's a Braford doe. That's a Braford uh, cow there. And those are Braford, that's a Braford calf. I know by first glance, they look like uh, Simbra Cattle, eh? They do look like Simbra or Afrosim Cattle. But the reason being is they differ from the Simbra and the Afrosim because of their crossing. They crossed out of the Brahman and the Hereford. That's where the name Braford comes from. Rather than the Simbra, which is crossed out of the Simmental and the Brahman. So let's get into it, guys. As you know, I'm never writing so I got my trusted million dollar notebook here, as one gentleman once called it. So let's get into the Braford. The Braford was created to provide a constant and, effect, and, efficient, uh, pr and efficient product for beef uh, production. The breed was made by crossing well, it was made by crossing between a Hereford bull and Brahman cows. They carried the characteristics of both breeds. This was, the, this was first done by Putin and Hodges breeding and, and Adams J.R. In, in Florida, 1947. It took few attempts to get, the, to get the right genetics as the first bull suffered with pure, poor feet and eyes and were, not used, and, were not used, and were not used to the Florida climate. They began experimenting with various types of Brahman and Hereford bulls. Eventually, he identified Braford bulls that were producing calves that met his needs and he used these bulls and their offsprings to form what is, the, what is recognized as the foundation herd of the Braford breed. In the United States, by basing bull selection and winning and yearling, and yearling weights and allowing natural selection to eliminate the calving problems. The characteristics of the Braford. The Braford is red like is red like the Hereford with with uh, with white underbelly head and feet it is stockier than the Hereford getting the stockiness from the Brahman the Braford is primarily used for beef but sometimes used for rodeos so they use it for rodeos in the United States if you guys watch those rodeos they use it for that Braffords are known for their superior maternal ability early puberty Fertility, calving is optimum milk production and maternity aptitudes, and pro and produce and, pro and productivity and longev productivity longevity have earned Braffords this distinguished reputation. Brafford cattle are approximately three eight Brahman, five eight Hereford. Braffords also have heat and insect resistance because of their chemic because of their chemic because of a chemical in their blood. This also makes them. This also makes them um, um, insect resistant, kind of insect resistant. They do best in warm climates. As the South African Braford Society came into being on the 30th of May 1997, st structure breeding programs around, uh, started up around about 1975 by cross-breeding registered Hereford with Brahman, with Brahman cattle. Speaking of quantities, Here speaking of quantities Hereford was one of the most important and biggest beef cattle breeds in the world, both in extensive and feedlots. Situations. Herefords, the Hereford, the worldwide recognition as being a high fertile, high fertile as in meat and also has very good meat quality. Combined, combine it with high mothering qualities of the Brahman, the result is an animal with exceptional characteristics. Birth weight of the Braford is 30 to 36 so some calves could be born 30 to 36 which means the calves aren't really that big but i believe they're fast growing because of that brahman because of that brahman blood in them so their winning weight when you win them it's about 200 to 270. the bulls uh, full-grown braford uh, bull would weigh about 900 to a thousand kgs a full bro full grown full grown braford cow would weigh about 550 to 750 so those are the weights of the Braford um, they are registered as a medium frame uh, breed of cattle 
and uh, the muscle conformation is fairly good. I believe they get that from the Hereford, um, from the Hereford, uh, from the Hereford side. The puberty is medium. Occurrence in Namibia is scarce, but they do. Carcass is early, is early maturing. A growth rate is on, on, on grazing is medium, and milk production is medium. So that's the profit. That's the profit. And another, just adding some more, Bradford cattle are known for their excellent mothering abilities, lack of calving problems, high winning percentage, and their excellent feed conversion ability, which makes them the ideal for both feedlots, for both felt and feedlot condition. They are therefore well suited for beef production under the South African condition. So, I believe this crossbreed, as I previously spoke to about the Hereford, and crossing it with one of as this is why the brahman is known as the king of crossbreeding because it's used in a lot of crossbreeding and that is to add the adaptability because some european breeds do suffer from not being able to adapt to the african conditions whether it is the insecticides the insects or it's the long walking uh, distance to get to a grazing point or watering point or climbing hills they sometimes struggle and brahman cattle have been known to be very adaptable animals. So this is why I believe they did the crossing between the Hereford and the Brad and the, the Hereford and the Brahman to create the Braford. As the information said, some of the the, the Hereford cattle were not and some Brahman cattle were not uh, well suited for the Florida uh, farming conditions. So this is why the crossing came about. Have I had experience farming Braford cattle? Not really. I have spoken to a couple of breeders, I think there's one or two or three of them, and they speak uh, very good things about them. And as I always say, a purebred is nice, but a, but cross, but, uh, but a hybrid is nice in two places. So as they said, it brings in the fertility, the high libido and the good meat quality of the, of the, of the Hereford. It brings in the easy calving, the mothering ability and the adaptability of the Brahman, and it comes together to create this breed. So you're getting the best of both worlds, you know, best of both worlds. So... Is it a breed that one can look at? Yeah, you could look at it. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people, when they see them on people's farm, they might confuse them with a with a Brahman, uh, not a Brahman, with a Simbra, for example, because another crossbreed of white faces, or an Afrasim, which is another crossbreed of white faces, but just the weights. And it's an animal that does carry good weight, you know, from nine, 900 to 1,000 kgs for a bull, 550 to 750 for a cow. That is what you're looking for when you are an extensive cattleman, as I said. Wanted in feedlots and can also do well in, in, in on farms. So those are my two cents on the Bradford cattle, guys. I just want to ask you guys to do me two favors. If you like the content I put out in this video, hit that subscription button, turn on, hit on turn, hit that subscription button, turn on the bell notification so you're notified of future uploads. If um and another thing, give me a huge thumbs up if you like the content that I put out there. With that said, guys, bye for now.